Welcome to the first ever episode of Flashback Friday. Today we review X-Men the movie Rogue. Okay, on the, let's take a look at the packaging quickly. It says ages five and up. It has the actress Anna Paquin. It says Anna Paquin as Rose. It has this big red X, which also doubles as a display stand of some sort. I don't know how. Probably you just put the figure on top of it. Anyways, uh, nice packaging, same as we've seen with the Professor X from this wave. Pretty nice. Uh, I found this at my comic book shop a while back. I found it at e comic shop actually. Not mine. Not mine most of the time. Anyways. It says Toy Biz, Grand, and a pack one is Rogue, and X-Men the movie. Nothing on the side there. It shows the figuring in action. A really weird looking version of it. Maybe a variant. That one looks way different than this. Okay, on the back there shows how the Cloak works. It says rogue with cloth, cloth clock and scarf, and it says the g genetic abilities of the young drifter, known as rogue, are both a blessing and a curse. The young mutant has the power to absorb the memories and powers of others through the slightest touch, but because she has no control over this talent, she must keep even those she cares for at a distance. She first met Wolverine when he saved her from attacking mate angry mob and feels a kind a special kinship with him because she once used her powers to absorb his mutant healing factor and memories in order to save her life. As a result, she understands why the mysterious loner has a, such a troubled soul. Okay, and now I'm and it also shows the rest of the people in the wave. We've already uh, reviewed Professor X. And there's a flashback Friday review of Logan coming. And there's a red X here. This is an X-Men movie. 20th Century Fox. Grand. It says collect each 15 centimeter action figure. And with that, I'll... Crack this person open, and we are back here with her out of the packaging. First, I'll take give a take a quick look at her cloak. It's a pretty nice cloak, nicely detailed, and it's made out of fabric. Pretty sweet. It's pretty nice of an accessory. And then another thing there that comes with her. Is this scarf? I'm not going to take it around off her neck because it looks like a pain in the ass to put back on. You know what? Uh, I don't think like it like that. So just put it like that. Anyways, her head scan is pretty decent. Pretty decent head scan. Doesn't look like the actor, but eh, it's pretty decent woman looking head scan. Uh, I think her white streak could have been painted a bit better. Just looks like someone uh, punt white out on her hair, and it looks just terrible. I think that could have been fixed. But other than that, I like the details they put on her shirt and her pants. Nicely detailed. Nice big butt. Well, other than that, they have that pretty much detailed perfectly. Other than that, okay, pretty sweet. I'm just going quickly. Yeah, yeah, the shoes aren't. Generic, but I think that's 
she wore in the movie. She was pretty much the most important character of that movie, mainly because Magneto was hunting her down, and then in the end, she ends up being Magneto's weapon. So I think mostly it was about her, not really about her. It just mainly focused around her, mainly focused on her powers. Her powers only were the only powers to power uh, Magneto's evil mutant thing. And then, yeah, other than that, let's just get back to the review here. Okay, with that being said, let's uh, quickly show her articulation. Her head goes side to side. It's limited by this scarf. It'd probably be a bit more agile if I took the scarf off, but I don't want to take the scarf off because it looks like a pain in the butt to put back on. And her elbow can go that far out. And I thought there was... Oh! There is a swivel here. There's a upper arm swivel. Other than that, there's nothing else. And then there's a waist swivel. And then there's no articulation here. There's only a late upper leg swivel, which is a pain in the butt to do. Because now, look. That's how ter. That just looks terrible. She's better off in the packaging. Anyways, single jointed knee, and boot goes side to side, and it doesn't go up. Okay, and that's pretty much her head. So, I think if you really, really, oh, my goodness. Okay. Well, you're not going to get really much good poses poses out of this figurine. Yeah, <coughs> uh, I wouldn't really recommend this figurine. Maybe if you liked the movie, or the actor, the plater. But I'm pretty sure they made a X-Men 2 version of Rogue. Maybe they did, I don't know. I wasn't, I wasn't really around Toy Biz era. I didn't know much about the toys, Toy Biz era, to be honest. Anyways, if you really like the movie or really like the actor, I recommend picking her up. If you don't like the actor, if you don't, if you don't like the movie, or other than that, it's pretty bad. You have to bend her knees a bit, probably mess around with the legs to get her in a proper pose on your shelf or anywhere. With that being said, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.